The purpose of performing a control solution test is to verify the accuracy of the meter, test strips, and the technique of the operator. You should run this test whenever a new vial of test strips are opened, if the meter is dropped, or if the meter provides questionable results. The supplies required to run a control test are test strips, vial of control solution, and tissues. Since there are two levels of control solutions available, the distributor may send you either control solution. It doesn't matter which control solution is used. Control solution is color-coded for easy reference. Our low control has a yellow cap and is labeled low. Our high control has a red cap and is labeled high. First, open a vial of test strips by removing the tamper seal and opening the cap. Please remember, once they're opened, the test strips have an open vial shelf life of 90 days. It's recommended that you write the date on the vial when it's opened. Start by placing a new test strip into the meter with the black side facing up. This will turn on the meter. Thank you for using this product. Summarize the meter's date, time, and temperature. You'll hear an indication to apply the blood to the test strip. Please apply blood onto the test strip. With a picture of a test strip and a flashing drop. Next, press the memory button M once and CTO will appear toward the bottom of the main display. This indicates that you'll be taking a control solutions test and the control result will not average into your glucose readings. Verify which control solution you're using. For our demonstration, we're using a low control solution, which has a yellow cap. Slightly mix up the solution by inverting it several times. Remove the top. Discard the first drop into a tissue and wipe the tip of the bottle off. Next, squeeze a drop of the control solution onto a clean, dry surface, such as the top of the control solution cap. Holding the meter at an angle, touch the tip of the test strip to the drop of control solution. Once the meter starts to count down, remove the strip away from the drop. The meter will count down from six seconds to zero and then will display the test result. Verify your control test results against the values printed on the outside of the test vial, keeping in mind which level you just ran. A result that falls into this range indicates that everything is functioning properly. Now, eject the used test strip by utilizing the strip ejection button on the left side of the meter to dispose of the used strip. This will turn off the meter as well.